This video is going to show you how to divide polynomials with remainders. And we're going to go over it two ways, with the tabular method and with long division. So let's do the tabular method first. First of all, look at this problem and see what you notice. Because I notice that there is a placeholder, right? We're missing the 0x squared. And we always want our exponents to go in order. 3, 2, 1, none. Now you need to figure out how many rows there are. We're dividing by two terms, so there are two rows. For the number of columns, you take your largest exponent of each polynomial, which is x cubed and x to the first. You divide and you add one, so we're going to have three columns. You're gonna make a two by three box and set it up. Remember that when you're setting it up, what you're dividing by goes on the right, and the left-hand side down into the bottom is what you are dividing. That's why we have the 6x cubed plus 0x squared plus 5x minus 8. You're going to start with exactly what they gave you, and they gave us a starting term of 6x cubed. And you're going to think to yourself, x times what is 6x cubed? x times 6x squared is 6x cubed and multiply out. 6x squared times negative 2 is negative 12x squared. You came to a diagonal, so you're going to add along it. And you're going to think, what minus 12 gives me the 0? Well, 12x squared minus 12x squared is 0. And repeat the process. x times what is 12x squared? x times 12x is 12x squared. 12x times negative 2 is negative 24x. We come to a diagonal. So you're going to add along the diagonal, which really you don't have to extend it to everything. You could just do that. And you're going to think, what minus 24 is 5? Well, 29x minus 24x gives me that 5x. And again, repeat the process one last time. x times what is 29x? x times 29 is 29x. 29 times negative 2 is negative 58. And in this case, you don't really have a diagonal to add along. You only have the negative 58. But the negative 58 doesn't give me what I wanted of negative 8. So this is how you can tell in the box method that there's going to be a remainder. Your last box won't match what you want. Instead, you need to take your negative 58 and think of what remainder could you have to give me negative 8. It's like we're adding along another diagonal, but this time we're adding with the remainder. And you can solve this to get that your remainder is 50. Now pay attention to how we're going to express our answer. We have the 6x squared plus 12x plus 29, which came from up top. And then we have the remainder of 50. So I'm going to add my remainder. However, that remainder could not be divided by x minus 2. So I'm going to write 50 over x minus 2 because we couldn't divide by it. And your answer should always be in this form. Let's try the next one with long division. Pay attention to what the problem says and how it's worded. Anytime you see this form, this is going to tell you, hey, I have a remainder in my answer. Let's set it up for long division. Now that my problem is set up properly because there are no placeholders, I can start. 2x times what gives me 6x cubed? 2x times 3x squared gives me 6x cubed. So 3x squared times 2x is 6x cubed. 3x squared times 3 is 
9x squared. And remember, we are going to subtract this. But anytime you subtract polynomials, you need to distribute the negative. So this positive 6 is going to turn into a negative 6. This positive 9 is going to turn into a negative 9. I like to circle in my new signs. That way I know, hey, I distributed, and I don't get confused. 6 minus 6 is 0. That should always cancel out. 17 minus 9 gives me 8. Keep the variable with the exponent, x squared. Bring down the 10. And restart the process. 2x times what gives me 8x squared? 2x times 4x gives me that 8x squared. So now multiply 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times 3 is plus 12x. And we are subtracting by distributing that negative. So the positive 8 goes to a negative 8. The positive 12 goes to a negative 12. 8 minus 8 cancels out. It's 0. Sorry, this should be a 10x. 10x minus 12x is negative 2x. And bring down the next one. And you're going to think to yourself again by restarting this process. 2x times what is negative 2x? 2x times negative 1. So negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And we are subtracting by distributing the negative. So the negative 2x turns into a positive, And the negative 3 turns into a positive 3. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0. It cancels out. 2 plus 3 is 5. And that's going to be your remainder. Now remember, the region's question asked you to express it in the form q of x plus r of x over g of x. q of x stands for your quotient. That's this guy up here. And we're going to add your remainder. That's what r of x stands for. Divided by g of x, which is up here. We could not divide 5 by 2x plus 3. And there you have it. Dividing by the tabular method and long division when you have remainders in your answer.